Hi friends. In the previous video, we created an app that analyzed a text file to calculate and display the word count. We uploaded a text file, the app processed its content, and it told us the total number of words. Today, we're going to take things a step further and work with images. This time, we'll build an image resizer app. The app will let you upload an image, this there specify the desired width and height, and it will resize the image for you. Let's dive in and start building it together. Now, I'm updating the inputs and outputs of our app to work with images. Instead of uploading a text file, we'll upload an image. We'll also add fields to enter the width and height in pixels, so we can resize the image to those dimensions. For the output, I'm setting it to display the resized image right on the screen. Now that I've made the changes, let's launch the app and see how it looks. On the screen, you can see the new feature to upload an image, along with fields to enter the width and height for resizing. Now, let's update the function to handle the resizing process. First, I'm changing the function's name to resize image, so it reflects what the function is doing. Next, I'm modifying the parameters to take three inputs, image, width, and height. These will allow the function to process an uploaded image and resize it based on the width and height specified by the user. Finally, let's quickly look at what this function does. It takes the image input, resizes it using the specified dimensions, and then returns the resized version. This updated function will make our app capable of resizing images dynamically based on user input. Next, I'll update the function reference in the interface. I'm changing fn equal analyze text to fn equals resize image, so the app uses our new function for resizing images. Now that this is set, I'm running the app to test it. Let's start by uploading a cat photo. I'll enter new width and height values to resize the image and then click the submit button to see the result. We'll repeat this process with a few different dimensions to explore how the resizing works for various inputs. That's it for this example. I hope you enjoyed building this image resizing app with me. In the next video, we'll dive into more exciting features of Gradio. Until then, happy coding, and I'll see you next time.